In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Neoforge server for Minecraft for free. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. All right, once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in the Essential Mod. The Essential Mod is a free Minecraft mod that will allow you to create your very own Neoforge server. So all you want to do is you want to go to the official essential.gg website just like so, and then eventually it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and press on this blue button over here that says download. Now, even though the Essential Mod is a great option, unfortunately, Unfortunately, it does have its limitations. For starters, this is not a 24-7 server. It will only work if you're also online playing. And also, it could be a little bit difficult to set up and there could be some glitches. But if you guys want a 24-7 plug and play solution, then consider using our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a Neoforge for you and all of your friends. This is a 24-7 server that has unlimited slots, so whether you're trying to play with a few friends or your entire squad, Simple Game Hosting has you covered, and you can easily download any mod or mod pack of your choice, as there's dozens of video guides showing you how to do everything, along with 24-7 live customer support so you can ask an expert any questions you have. So guys, if this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. But anyways guys, once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the essential installation. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right just like me, but if you don't see it over here, what you could always do is just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Now, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop because it will just make the process a little bit easier. And then from here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on it. Once you double click on it, eventually a menu will actually appear right over here. So yep, here it is. So all you want to do is you want to press on get started. Then where it says select your launcher, please select on Minecraft launcher. Now here's where things get a little bit important. So where it says Minecraft version, you want to go ahead and switch it to the version of Minecraft you're trying to host a server on. So let's say we wanted to create a Minecraft server for 1.21.3. We would need to go ahead and select a 1.21.3 in the version selector. And then over here where it says mod loader, you need to go ahead and select on Neo Forge. Now, now, I'm going to make a quick disclaimer. Not every version of Minecraft on the Essential Mod can support the Neoforge mod loader. So you need to go ahead and select the Minecraft version that does allow you to use Neoforge. For example, 1.21.3 does allow you to use Neoforge. So once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to select on create and install essential right over here and now it is going to begin installing neoforge and preparing your server okay once you're done with that you should get a screen that looks like this so close out of the essential installer and now all you want to do is you want to open up the minecraft launcher like you normally would all right once you're over here you want to make sure that minecraft java edition is selected then go to this top menu and select over here where it says installations then underneath here where it says versions make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of minecraft and then in this list, you should be able to see Neoforge. So yep, here it is. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this folder icon. It is going to say open installations folder. So please go ahead and press on that. And then you're going to get a bunch of these folders. But go ahead and open up the mods folder really quickly. And then over here, you want to go ahead and drag and drop all of your Neoforge mods that you would like to use. Just make sure that it is compatible with the version of the Minecraft server. So in this instance, we would need to download a Neoforge mod that actually does work for Minecraft 1.21.3. And you would need to go ahead and drag it inside of here. So once you went ahead and added your mod, you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, then go ahead and select on the Neoforge installation and press over here where it says play, press on I understand, and then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys, so here we are in a Minecraft Java edition. So you'll notice that in the bottom left, it is going to say Neoforge. And now you guys have two different options. You guys could either host a world or you can go ahead and join a world or a server. So let me show you guys how to host a server or world really quickly. So you want to go ahead and press on this option that says host world. Then you guys want to uh, either create a brand new world or load into a pre-existing world. So for this video, let's just go ahead and create a brand new world for all of our friends to join. All right, guys, so here we are in our Minecraft world. So now I'm going to show you how to invite your friends. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here where it says social. Then you want to press on this plus one over here that says add friend and you want to type in the username of your friend. And that does mean that they also need to download the essential mod. So please go ahead and send this video to your friends so that they know exactly what to do. But anyways, guys, once you went ahead and added them, all they need to do is accept their friend request and then they will be in your friends list. And once they're in your friends list, all you want to do is you want to press on invite, press on proceed, then go ahead and press on next. And then they will appear right over here and you just want to go ahead and invite them just like so and all they need to do is accept your invite and then all of you guys can go ahead and play on your free neoforge server if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400 000 subscribers see you later french fries